So you'll start by cutting yourself some strips of white scrapbooking paper. And you want each strip to be about an inch wide and about a half an inch longer than the width of your tray on each side. So then you'll cut enough strips to go all the way across. And then you'll cut an equal amount of red and blue strips to go across the other direction. Now I'm using a small tray here, but if you have a larger tray and you find that the strips of scrapbooking paper aren't long enough, you can also use red, white, and blue ribbon to make this instead of scrapbooking paper. So once you have all your strips cut, start by laying out your white strips without the tray. And make sure that they're all touching one another. Then take one of your red or blue strips and weave it through the strips of white, going over and under, over and under, all the way across, and you want to leave a little bit on the edge here, that half inch that hangs over the lip of your tray. So once you've got your first layer in, you'll probably have to neaten up your strips a little bit. And then take one of the blue strips and weave it right next to it, but this time do the opposite. The ones you went over before you'll go under this time, and the ones you went under before you'll go over this time. So just do the same thing as the red, going all the way across once again. And then make sure to push it down tight next to the red, and readjust your white strips again. So then just keep going on like that, alternating red and blue, and over and under, until you have the entire thing covered. And so then, what you do is you just take the pieces, all the ones that are under the colored strips, you just fold those over the back. So you'll be folding every other one. Make sure you keep them nice and tight up against the colored strip. And then do the same thing with all the colored strips, taking the under strips and folding them back against the white. Then you can just secure all the pieces you folded with a little bit of glue or tape. And then you'll just do the same thing with all the outside strips folding them back over themselves. And securing them with a little bit of tape. And so then just flip it back over. If your tray is like mine, you might have to round the edges just a little bit to make it fit. And so then just slide it right into your tray. And so then you have a nice festive serving tray for your 4th of July get-together.